Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Very nice to see you, and it's nice to be back here in the bathroom on a weekend. It's nice and time to just relax, chill, have a nice shave, talk with my friends, and yeah, just um, relax. The weather here in Scotland, in my area, uh, the east coast of Scotland, has been horrible the last week or two. It's just been rain, rain, and the next day, sun, rain, and then it's been rain, <laughs> it's just been non-stop, it's horrible, but um, it's a little bit brighter today, a little bit. The rain's the rain has relented a little bit, so it's all good. But um, yeah, that's the price you have to pay for being Scottish, right? That's how we all have faces like, because when we go out in the wind, it's like, that's how every Scotsman looks like that. As you're battling against the... <laughs> right. Um, how are you doing? How's the weather where you are in the world? Well, uh, as you can see from the title of this video, um, a few shave goodies from uh, Australia. So I, I would imagine the weather in Australia is just starting to turn into summer, uh, maybe spring just now, starting to heat up, so nice. Right, um, I was contacted by a guy called Craig Goder, G-A-U-D-E-R. If I'm butchering your name, Craig, I apologise. Craig's not an artisan, he's not a soap maker or anything like that, not that I know of anyway. He just contacted me and said, I have some stuff, I've got a lot of shave gear, uh, I've been watching your YouTube channel for a couple of years, I really enjoy your content, can I send you some stuff, just as a gift? Okay, why not? Yeah, um, so he kind of described what he was sending, he didn't go into too much detail, but when I opened the box I was like, oh my goodness, the generosity of this wet shaving community, as you know, I've mentioned it countless times, it's one of the best communities in the world to be a part of. Uh, I'm so privileged and proud and honoured to be a part of this wet shaving community. Uh, so Craig sent me a box all the way from Australia. I said to him, I'll help pay the postage or whatever. Nope, that's fine. So uh, when the box came, I was shocked. Right, let me show you what was in the box. Right, the first thing I'm going to show you um, is this. This is a brush. It's a badger brush and it's made by... El Druida and they're from Toledo in Spain uh, quite near Madrid so kind of centre of Spain yeah there it is there that's probably a picture of Toledo Toledo's very famous for steel in uh, Spain that's where a lot of steel made I've been to Toledo actually it's a very very nice place uh, it's a beautiful beautiful little city so this is the brush that he sent so El Druida so it comes in this box like that, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll, I'll take everything out and show you, just uh, just because, yeah. So there's a little piece of paper in there. There's a little card. Um, you have to excuse my finger. I caught it, scraped it on a wall, and I kind of cut it. But I've had a band aid to plaster on it. But um, yeah, it's getting there. Right, uh, that's the card that comes with El Druida. It's all in Spanish, I think. Yep, pretty much. So that's that. Um, here's the brush. I was shocked when I opened this. Right, so let me just take this out here, like that. Right, here it is. It's a badger knot. I think it's about 22 millimeter, maybe. But look at this. There's their logo there, El Druida. And look at this. I don't know what kind of wood that is. I think it might be olive wood, and it has the band around here. Yeah, very, very nice. Nicely made, nice little brush. Um, yeah, <laughs> I was shocked. I was like, wow, that's really, really nice. So I'm going to put that into the Sticky Toffee Pudding Super Soaker. Yeah, um, this is the black version. This is a very rare version. You look at many of these now, they're mostly clear or kind of whitey plastic. But this is the the, the black version of the Sticky Duffy Pudding Super Soaker. Can't remember where this is from. Marks and Spencer's maybe? Right, so I'll just put some water in that and I'll put the brush into the water so it's just covering the knot. Kind of no more. Right, that'll do. So I'll just let that sit. So that's the brush. Yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way just so I could get that soaking. Um, he also sent me some blades. Now he knows, Craig knows that I like Gillette and Assets, favourite blades. So he sent me between 10 and 20 tucks of these. So once again, very generous. He also sent a couple of soaps. 
the first one, C4 header. Uh, there's the notes on that there. Yeah, I've never used the C4 soap, and this is brand new, not being used. It's very nice. It's um, yeah, it's, it's not lavender forward. You can smell the lavender in it. Lavender, bergamot, geranium, clary sage, oak moss, and coumarin. So spearhead. Seaforth, Spearhead Shaving Company. There is. So I'm not going to use that one today. I'm going to use the other one he sent, uh, which is this Oaken Lab Sanctum. I'm pretty sure I've had this before and used it. I maybe gave it away. Can't remember. Uh, so the notes on this are dusty light blank paper, sandalwood stillness. What does stillness smell like? Well, it smells like this. Oh, that smells like stillness. I don't know. It smells nice. It's just a, a nice um, scent. I think this is tallow based if I'm not. Yeah, beef tallow. So I'll let you see the ingredients in that one. This is the one I'm using today. There you go. You can pause that there if you like. So Oaken Lab. Yeah, comes in the nice tubs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've used this before. I recognise the scent, but I'm going to use it again. Right, on to the... Um, Razor Craig sent me. Very, very kind. I was I was shocked when I opened this as well. Um, it's a Carve Overlander. Yeah, I've um, aluminium razor. Comes with all the little bits of paper. Here it is here. So this is it here. Let me just uh, let me just move this out this box out of the way so it doesn't get any water and stuff on it. Because we don't want that, do we? No, no, no. So here is the Carve Overlander. Yeah, very nice in this. Uh, Kind of matte black finish. Aluminium razor is quite light. But, um, I've seen lots of videos on it, I've just never used one. So not only did he send that, he also sent a carve green aluminium knot pommel 3.75 handle for the the um, overlander, which I will sh show you now. There you go. Yeah, so that's um, same length of handle, but just a different design on it. And it has the green on the bottom there. Whereas this one's just uh, black. It has a different, different lines on it. So that was also sent as well. Unbelievable. Generosity is too kind. You're too kind, Craig. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I'll use everything. Um, right, so... The Badger brush has been soaking from El Druida. I'm not sure the um, name of the brush. I don't have that information. I looked on their Instagram, but I couldn't see it any place. So I don't know. Craig, if you're watching this, maybe send me the details. I think it's a 22 millimeter knot. And I'm going to use the uh, Oaken Lag, Oaken Lag, <laughs> Oaken Lag, Oaken Lab Sanctum. Right, how long has that been going? Two, two and a half days. Right, well, I'll tell you what. First of all, I'll put the, um, I'll put a brand new Gillette now set into the Overlander. Oh, now look, these um, these look like different wrappers from the, the Nassets I use. I don't actually think the Nassets I use have any branding on them. If I'm not mistaken, I can't remember. And these ones don't seem to have as many or as big um, glue bumps. There is bumps there, you can see. That's just to hold it in the wrapper. But they don't feel as sticky. Right, three piece carve overlander. Yeah, it has the um, carve supply with a little plastic um, washer thing. Let me put that on the top cap. It's nice being the weekend, I can just relax. I'm not in a rush to do the video. Um, put a little washer on. Yeah, I'm not in any rush, I just want to relax and just enjoy it and just use these things that Craig sent. High quality gear, no overhang on this. Blade looks all aligned nicely. The Carve Overlander, yeah, very light. Some people will have used this. I know they will have. Right, let's uh, get this brush. I'll put a little bit of water on the top of the soap. Just a tiny little bit. Mm. How was your Halloween, by the way? I was going to do a Halloween shave, I just ran out of time. Ran out of time. Right, that's the, look at that. 
Yeah, look at the tips on that, like gel tips. Beautiful. Right, into the soap. Getting ready to uh, create lather. Yeah, using a badger brush takes a little bit of getting used to. You don't want too much water in, left in it when you lather up, so um, there's a kind of, it's different from using a synthetic. A synthetic, you can just dip the brush in the water, give it a squeeze or a flick or whatever you do, and then you can just go to town on it. The badger brush, it's a little bit more, um, not work, it's not really work, is it? It's shaving, it's not work. <laughs> but you know, you just have to be a little bit more um, careful. I just wet the tips a tiny bit just to gather the soap. Right, I reckon that's enough. Yeah, we'll probably be adding water to that. Right, so I'll wet the face. What's been happening in your world, people? The El Druida Badger Brush. No smell from it. So just uh, painting this lather on to start with. I'm going to apply a, a base layer of lather. Just uh, dip the tips of the brush into the water. Just add water like this. Yeah, it's a comfortable handle to hold. There's a little kind of recessed bit there. Right, I'll just uh, start splaying it now. Nice and soft tips on this uh, badger brushes. Some, some badger brushes are, you don't see many people using them now. They've really gone out of fashion from the um, since the synthesis, since the synthetic, since the synthetics, that's hard to say. Since the synthetic, since the synthetics came on the scene. Right, you try saying that. Since the synthetics, since the, <laughs> right, a little bit more water in the tips. Swirling paint. Yeah, if you you can go and um, go get a drink, come back, and I'll still be louder. <laughs> yeah, this this um, using a badger brush or a boar brush, it really makes you um, work at your ladder. Swirling paint. Yeah, that's it. It's starting to fly now, which is good. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. Can you see that lather? Beautiful shine on it and stuff. Really nice, thick, dense, creamy lather. Looks good. Right, I'll just stand the brush here. Okay, let's uh, put some heat into the carve. I'm sorry to say, there's not gonna be a short version of this video. Just, I'm just gonna let it roll, just, just go with it. Right, okay, Carve Overlander, brand new Gillette Nasset. Very nice, lovely and smooth. 
Yeah, it feels good. It has that, um, well, it feels like it has that kind of drag thing. You know where it kind of, I've spoke about this before. Some of the razors, they kind of almost like suck your skin. They almost like stick to your skin. Even though there's lather there, rinse is nice and clean. Yeah, even though there's lather there, you can feel there's a, there's almost not, not a resistance as such, but it just feels like there's a, uh, like the razor's kind of, like sticking to the skin, almost like whoosh, and then you drag it and the, the lather does its thing, the slickness. And there's plenty of slickness on this soap. Yeah, it's really comfortable, nice and mild, not too aggressive. Easy to use, nice and light. I like a light razor. Carve overlander. Any plans this weekend? Any plans? You uh, having a shave? Then hitting the town, going out for a meal, a drink, whatever, friends, meet up with friends, meet up with family, whatever. Yeah, that feels great. Great slickness on the soap. Right, let me rinse and come out for pass number two. Okay, that's that rinsed off nicely. Yeah, good uh, residual slickness from that, which you would expect from a, a beef tallow soap anyway. Right, back to this uh, El Druida. Am I saying that correct? If anyone has one of these brushes. What does El Druid I mean in Spanish? Is that in English? Is it the Druid or I don't know? Maybe should have looked it up before I started. Yeah, why didn't you look it up, Kevy? Because you're stupid. Oh, thank you. Nice scent on this soap. Very unusual. I say the note, what did I say the, um, you can get the sandalwood, it's a kind of sweet sandalwood, Dirt, dusty light, blank paper, sandalwood, stillness, dusty light, blank paper, what does blank paper smell like, like paper, so kind of woody, nah not really, okay, uh, pass number two with the carve overlander across the growth. I don't have any uh, great plans for the weekend. Especially with this weather. <laughs> it's, um, it's not been nice at all. Mind you, I think the whole of the UK has had um, horrible weather. It's been storms and... Yeah, different, um, they started um, naming these storms. You know, someone from the, um, someone from the Met Office 
the meteorolog mete <laughs> can't talk today. Meteorological Office Society. Um, they've started naming the storms. Storm Kerry. Comes in at 100 miles an hour and goes out at about 20 with bright sunshine. <laughs> Comes in like, <laughs> and goes out like, <laughs> after the shave. <laughs> Right, second pass done. Let's have a little feel. Wow. That feels lovely, so comfortable. Right, let me rinse off, come back for the third pass. Okay, rinsed off nicely. Yeah, there's not much left, but we'll still go back to this brush. Yeah, it does um, release the lather. Look, you can see there's lots of lather in there. It does release it, but badging brushes are notorious for um, some of them can really hog the lather. This one's okay. Look, see, it's uh, releasing it quite good. There's still plenty in there. Because it's so um, dense, there's so many hairs in it. Nice little knot. I think it's about, it feels about a 22 millimeter knot. Right, carve over lander, Gillette Nasset. Oh, did I just, um, did, I put some, did I put a little dot on the, of water? I don't know. Right, against the growth. Yeah, no overhang on this, so. We're okay going uh, around the nostrils. Yeah, listen to that. Lovely. Do you, um, if you're a daily shaver, what am I doing? <laughs> if you're a daily shaver, do you um, have a nice relaxing shave at the weekend? Just get the bathroom to yourself, no destruction, maybe put some music on or, and then just uh, enjoy your shave, enjoy your lathering up and enjoy your choosing what gear you're gonna use. And yeah, just everything like that. Right, that's three passes done. Wow. Let me have a quick rinse. That feels amazing. Really good. Yeah, yeah the usual little spot around here. Just on this uh, bitty under my chin. How many different <laughs> funny faces do you pull when you're when you're shaving, right? <laughs> Who knew shaving could be that much fun?
<laughs> yeah, just think about that the next time you um the next time you're having a shave. Just um <laughs> get it. Just like, have a look at your face when you're getting trying to get it like a <laughs> Right, okay. Yeah, that's it. Beautiful, right. I'll have a little rinse with cold water. Woo! That is cold. Right, let's see what's left in this brush. Look, see, it doesn't look like much, but wait till we see this. See it all coming out? Lovely. Right, I'll have a face wash with this. That um, dusty light and um, blank paper. If you don't have any of the sh uh, sh shave soap, just go and get a, a blank piece of paper and rub it on your face. See how good it feels. Oh, or some dusty light. Yeah, just um, get a light bulb, put it in the light fitting and just leave it in a darkened room for three years. Go back and it'll be pretty dusty. And then just rub it on your face. But mind you don't cut yourself with a glass. Oh, shut up, Kevin. Right, I'll see you in a minute. I'll clean up my gear and I'll be back. Right, post shave. Little bit of witch hazel. Uh, just to get things going. Good for the skin, witch hazel, very good. It doesn't have to be Thayer's or any kind of branded name. You can even put um, like essential oils and stuff in it to make it smell nicer if, uh, if you don't like the smell. That's it. Right, onto the splash. To go with the brush, El Druida from Spain, an old classic from Spain that you don't often see it very much now. I have some left. Floyd Black. Yeah, they no longer make this now, um, which is a shame because it's a lovely, lovely scent. Of course, PAA make their own one called Droid Black, which is very good, similar. But this is the this is the original. Lovely scent. Whoa. Oh yeah. If you could smell me now. Oh, oh. oh yes. I've forgotten how good that smells. Oh. Classic. And to finish it off. Uh, we're going to Scotland again. This is Bear Man Sooth. Saiban. Sci it's um, this easily absorbed lotion filled with aloe vera and thistle oil moisturizes your skin after shaving. Thistle oil. It's got some thistle on it in Scotland, you know. That'll be good for your face. Right, it comes with this little pump. One, two pumps. That's all you need. I just... Yeah, it doesn't have... Hardly any scent. A little bit, but not much. But it's very good. A little goes a long way. Easily absorbed into the skin. Wow. What a shave for the weekend. That's me ready. Mrs. Kevy, that's me ready. <laughs> I said, that's me ready. Oh, she's gone out. Here we go. What do you think? Right, very good. Right, let me show you what I've used in this wonderful shave, uh, shaving goodies from Australia. Not from Australia, sent from Australia. Right, the soap, Oaken Lab Sanctum. Very, very good soap. Um, it's a beef towel soap, so it won't be for everyone, but I think Oaken Lab, I th actually, I think they've um, they're on another version, maybe a different version. I think maybe V3, I think it says, might, might be the, just the V1 version, but still a very, very good soap. Yeah, very good soap. The brush was the El Druida Badger Knot. I think this is olive wood. It looks like olive wood. I could be wrong. Um, with this little 
kind of band here with the logo on it. Yeah, very, very nice. Badger knot, I think it's about a 22mm, look at that now, nice. Uh, soaked in the Sticky Toffee Pudding Super Soak, or the rare one, the rare black version with um, with Sticky Toffee Pudding in it at one time, a long time ago. <laughs> it's now in my tummy. <laughs> yeah, so that was the brush, El Druida Badger brush, great brush. Um, the razor was the Carve Overlander. Yeah, look, a, bit, a little bit of soapy scum on that, but we'll clean that up, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, Carve Overlander, uh, aluminium, quite a light razor. It has that kind of sticks to your skin, which is good. I, I don't mind it because if you've got a slick enough soap, it's fine. Um, close shave, yeah, not, not an aggressive razor at all, but um, nicely made. Attention to detail is great. Uh, that was the razor. Inside that was a brand new Gillette Nasset. Uh, three passes pickups. Post shave was this witch hazel, um, followed by Floyd Black aftershave, followed by Bear Man Soothe. And there's the result. Yeah, all um, very kindly sent. Well, the brush, the razor, the soap, the blades from um, Craig Goddard in Perth, Western Australia. It's getting dark here now already. Crazy. Um, yeah, it's only like, what time is it? Like four o'clock and it's that, the sun's kind of disappearing, so mm, it's getting dark. But um, yeah, that's it. That's all for me for today. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you're having a shave today, I hope you enjoy it. It's the weekend, so just relax. Maybe one tomorrow. If you're going out with friends, family, if you mean it for drinks, meal, have a great time. Have a fantastic time. Okay? And uh, be nice to people. And once again, thank you very much, Craig, for sending that stuff. I really appreciate it. As I said, wet shaving community, fantastic. Right, I'll see you in the next shave. Until then, take care, look after the loved ones. Bye-bye for now.